since the band had released any new music. And now, a great sadness had descended upon the remaining members. Five had become four, and all seemed lost. I'd taken a master meditating eight hours a day in hope of finding the answer to our problems. Instead, all I found was an incurable appetite for tofu and an unhealthy obsession for sitar music. A thousand boxes of incense had taken their toll. I'd been ignoring phone calls for months. But this time, something was urging me to answer that call. Who was on the other end of that line, I wondered? Was it the Dalai Lama? Was it Deepak Chopra? Could it even have been Michael Bolton? It was management. A lightning bolt of sobriety flashed through my body as the news came. Album 2 must be started. It's time. But where to begin? I hadn't seen anybody in months. I remembered a favourite spot of Stewie's down by the old powerhouse. Maybe, just maybe he was there. I'm pretty sure I remembered how to get there. Or so I thought. I mean, this place is a fucking maze. This goes on forever and ever. I thought I was going crazy. I gave up hope of ever finding Stewie again. But I knew I had to push on. Finally, Stewie's vices had plunged him into an unimaginable spiral of self-loathing. The air was rife with shame. Stewie. 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 He was like a caged beast. Stewie. 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 What? <laughs> it had been so long, he'd forgotten what human contact was even like. The road ahead was long, but together, we knew we could achieve anything. After all, we had each other.